Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Welcome to part two of my Hello Beautiful workshop series. In this tutorial, you're going to be creating some cards from a package of cards called Abstract Beauty Cards and Envelopes. I'm going to open this up to show you the whole pack. The cards are going to be modeled kind of after these cards, but of course everything you do is going to be different. What I love about this pack is there's 10 cards and they each have there's five different types of designs and it goes with the coordinating colors and they each have an envelope that'll match. And what I really like is that you can use your ephemera pack, which is just something that you can just jazz up with. So you can like put flowers on there. You can use your dies. You can use your embellishments, your bling. So we're going to be doing some stamping. We're going to be doing some die cutting. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Now, keep in mind that those of you who have the kit already, I do have a kit and in part one during my introduction I showed you what comes in your kit and I went through the whole kit. But keep in mind everybody's going to have different cards. So you, you might be like, oh, I don't have those cards. Well, hello. There's different cards in each kit. You're going to have two cards. So just pick out the two cards you have and decorate them. And of course, my kits are really a sampling of all the crafty goodness. And you can only register till the 18th. So check out the link in the description if you want to register for the kit. But you don't have to because my tutorials are freely available and the reason I do it this way is because I have a big team and I want to be able to offer them a lot of things and they also get discounts and I just and they don't they're you know they're going to follow along and they might not want to get everything in every suite that I cover right all these things so this is my way of offering my team and my customers not just my team samples okay like just jay pumpkin pie night and navy Right? These, these are colors that coordinate. These are carefully curated kits. They take me a long time to create. That's not all you get in your kit. But again, watch the first watch the first video. I don't know what happened to my... I had a sticky note on here to tell me where... Oh, I was just... You know what? I did a whole different video is why. If you miss my ladybug, I'll probably show you that at the end. Little ladybugs. I did something called the bugs and the bees. So that's why my my catalog is not marked off in the right spot right now. And so now I'm kind of like, where is the one that I'm doing? So I just have to kind of go back here to the index. Here it is. And it will say what page this is on, 50. And then I can mark it off. Because I just want to show you what the what this workshop is based on. So we're it's based on my workshops. I do them on YouTube. They're freely available to everybody. Those of you who want to get the kit, if you're in the U.S., you can have all the supplies that you need to follow along. It makes it very convenient for you. You'll get like a, samples of, I don't know, 50 different things by the time you're done. I mean, not 50 different things, but like you'll get 12 sheets of paper. I'm counting that as different things, right? And you'll get you'll get 12 sheets of the paper from Hello, the Abstract Beauty. You'll get other kinds of paper. You'll get cardstock. You'll get adhesive sheets, specialty papers, stickers, embellishments, ribbon, okay? A, a mini paper pumpkin box, et cetera, et cetera. It's a really, really good value. And... That's what you could do to follow along. Okay, so anyway, I'm basing it on the Abstract Beauty Collection. Everyone gets two of these cards. They'll be different. And everyone gets a pack of this ephemera. This is a really cool ephemera pack. You get 12 sheets of this paper. But if you purchase the package of the paper, which I, which I do hope you do from the workshop, I hope the workshop gives you an introduction to the series and then you say, oh, I like that or I want more of those. And here's what we're basing the entire series on. And I have created the projects for this series already, except for, you know, I have to leave room for creativity as things pop in my head. But for the most part, I could show you the projects now that we'll be making through this series. So this is the bundle. All right, enough of that. Let's get going. Let's get the placemat this time. Hopefully we'll be able to do this. And we're going to do a little bit of die cutting. Okay, let's so take out your mini machine. You don't you don't need your mini machine if you have a big machine, but mini machine, mini cut and emboss, 20% off this month. And just keep in mind, prices will be going up in the new catalog. And actually, next month's shipping is going to go up. Next, next catalog, different. They didn't say how much things are going to be yet, but I don't think you're going to see a good sale like this in quite in the near future. So if you want a mini machine to for your die cuts. It's a good time to get it. So to do the little sandwich is going to be plate one and then two plate twos. But the thing about this, you want to put in, the thing about these, this mini machine is you want to stagger your plates. So when you put it through, and don't worry that they get a little warped, you're going to stagger them. Don't put them all in, 
don't go, oh, I'm going to like a deck of cards and I'm going to, you know, have them going like this. It won't, it won't catch and they'll be hard to do it. So you got to stagger them a little. So anyway, you got a plate one, plate two, and then you're going to just do your dies. All right. So let's grab, I'm not going to do too much. I already have a lot of it cut ahead of time. So we're just, I'm just going to cut it just to show you a little bit. So this is my, my basic white and okay. Just a little piece of basic white. Now I'm going to take, put that there and I'm going to get, let's do this. Let's take, we definitely need some hexagons, even though I have a bunch cut. Okay. This is two hexagons. You can cut two hexagons at once, which I love. Okay. We definitely like having these extra little shapes for our little designs. I, I, the triangles, I'm not feeling it so much. These I use all the time. Triangles are kind of small. I like the diamonds. We'll put the diamonds in there, but let's first see if we can fit this. We need this little guy. This is your, this is your like round frame that we're going to put the hello beautiful on. So we might have to do something like that. Let's see. All right. Now, now we can put the half hexagons on here. I'm going to do something like that. All right. Half hexagons. That's these two. You get two at once. Not that you can't cut your hexagon in half, but why not use the half hexagon die? Okay. If you don't, if you want to make sure they totally don't touch each other and then, you know, there's, there's little tips and tricks. Like you could use some washi tape or something. I'm just going to try to wing it and see if it happens. Hopefully they don't touch each other. All right. I'm going to push that plate number two, another plate on top plate number two, again, stagger your plates and you're going to roll it through and that's how you're going to get your dies, your pieces. Some say, I just prefer it this way. I prefer to do my stamping later. And now we have all these things from the beautiful shapes dies. Okay. So they, that's how, we're going to get them out. You can get them out a couple different ways. I'm just going to push them off onto my mat, but, and you can just kind of throw your dies like that and stuff will come out. Check out this one. It has this really cool like ledge around it. It's like a nice little embossed ledge. It's pretty nice. Okay. And so I'm going to put all these back on my little magnet. They, these don't come with the magnetic sheet, but you can go to like the Home Depot or something and you can get these magnetic sheets and, and the, you can get our stamp cases from our catalog or from our website. All right. I don't, I have a bunch already cut, so I don't need to do the other piece. I just wanted to show you that. So you get the full picture. In my tutorials, I like to always give you the full picture. So done, done with that. And we can make some room. And I was going to talk about getting the other die, the die pieces out. And we're going to put these here as a guide. Let's put these somewhere where we can see them all the time. We're, I'm going to use them kind of as inspiration, but no two cards are going to be alike. We'll put those up there. We'll put that there. We need this, we'll put this card envelope up there like that. So you can see that they're really cool envelopes. Okay. Put some dies back. And what I wanted to show you is why this piece is stuck in here, how to get that out. All right. So we have, I have a, a tool called the take your pick tool and they even make a little die brush adapter for it. So when something's stuck in there like that, after you throw it down and it, well, it, that one came out, but if it didn't come out after throwing it down, then you're just going to turn it over, right? And you're going to use these little holes and you're going to use your take your pick tool and poke through and that'll get your dies out. And if you want, if there's a little die brush that you can put on here on your take your pick tool and your die brush, will, then you can like use the little sponge and get all your little bits and pieces out of your dies. If they're intricate, you know, for flowers and for example, all right, we're going to use, we're going to do some blending. So let's take the hello, beautiful stamp set. And we will first put the, we're going to do the shape that the, I'm going to call this the blob. Okay. We're going to take the blob out. There's lots of blobs, but let's just say this blob. Okay. It's kind of like the oval blob. Now turn that over and it's going to be flat side. You want flat side up and find a stamping block that'll hold it. Okay. Here's one. This is a D stamping block. D is a pretty much safe bet for all stamps. Okay. What you want to do is you're going to take, we'll take some ink and we'll do, okay. I have all these inks ready because who knows what's going to happen on my live videos. Right. But you know, whatever, whatever I decide to do here, I'm going to, when I open up the cards. So let's say we need this color, always the crushed curry color 
for the outside, so that's going to be light. But I'm thinking we need the balmy blue or the Just Jade for the inside, so let's take the balmy blue and use that. I mean, just kind of following what I did here. And the pumpkin pie, or no, that was probably Crushed Kerry. That was Crushed Kerry. And then I stamped in Magenta Madness. So I used these three colors earlier, but these three will also coordinate. So it's the more inks you have, the more versatile, right? Versatile you can be. Your versatility is a good thing. So let's take let's take these little. And I told you I had other ones cut out from earlier, so I don't need to like do all this cutting out. We need a couple of these pieces. I'm gonna reach into my bucket of crafty goodness. I got this at Staples, you guys. It's so cool. Look how many die I've already been cutting up my hexagons with different papers. It says staples on it. There was like there were like paper clips inside. I'm pretty sure it said staples on it. Maybe it said it on the lid. But anyway, it was a really here. Here it says it right. Oh, it doesn't matter. Because people always ask me, where'd you get this stuff? You could probably find some other kind of cool compartment to put your stuff in. All right, let's get the crush carry. Open that up and just start stamping. But before you stamp onto your little, take your blob and stamp onto your mat before you stamp onto your onto your thing here. So I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna do like a little off stamping so it's kind of lighter in the middle. So let's stamp down onto the mat. And I'm gonna turn this around so it's the small part is that way. And I'm gonna stamp onto the middle. So I did like a little bit of off stamping so it's not so dark because I wanna put the sentiment on top of it. Okay, so we so far that's what we have. Now we're gonna take this and you're gonna sort of wipe off, you know, I'm just gonna get baby wipes and just kind of wipe it off a little bit because I'm using a different color now. Right? But don't don't wipe it like make sure it's not too wet. And if it is too wet, just get the extra excess water off by doing doing that. Okay, and we're gonna take our balmy blue, leave this out because we need we need the crush carry. Let's take the balmy blue. And we need to do some off stamping. Again, you don't want it so dark. Oh, well, that one can be dark. Actually, this one can be dark. This one can be dark because you know what? We're putting the little thought balloon above it, so it's okay. We'll just go for it. Okay, tap, tap, tap. But always test it first on there. Okay, I like it. Okay, tap, tap, tap. And uh, let's see. I'm going to turn it around sort of to match that shape. All right, good. So far, so good. This one, we don't need any more right now. We might need it later, but we need the crush carry right now. So we're gonna take the little stamping block. This is how I use my blending brush. I take a little stamping block and I put a little ink on it and then I kind of know how much ink is on it. Plus I'm not rubbing my brush and getting things inside my stamp pad. And I put a little bit of ink on my blending brush, right? And I tap the blob off onto my mat. And then I just ink around the edges of whatever I'm doing. Okay, so that's how I'm doing it. This is so fun. I hope you guys are crafting along with me. Tap, tap, tap. And I was gonna like wait to, to do part two, but then so many got their kit already, their kits. And I was like, oh, we're ready to rock and roll. But if you don't have your kit yet, don't worry about it. Just do whatever you can and like maybe follow along with something else. Make these cards with other supplies different stamp sets. I hope you always gather tips and tricks from my tutorials without having the exact materials I have and everything. I hope you always understand that I'm trying to teach you concepts that the, that the materials I use are like icing on the cake to follow along, but the concepts you can apply to whatever materials you have. Okay, so something like that, a little bit darker around the edge there. Tap, tap, tap. All right, I wanted it a little darker so I didn't blob that one off. I just kind of put the blob right on there. All right, good, good. We got that one done. Let's do this one. So notice the inside is darker because I stamped with the stamp as opposed to the blending brush. Now, it doesn't matter if you mess up your stamp, right? What I'm about to stamp now. It's better that I did the blending first because 
Normally I would say, hey, stamp first, because if not, don't waste your time blending. But in this case, it doesn't matter. We have ephemera packs and we can cover up whatever doesn't work for us. So we're gonna stamp now, right? The Hello Beautiful. And then the Happy to Know You, we're gonna stamp on the little ephemera. All right, so we're done with that color for now. Maybe we need it later. I think we need it for, yeah, we need it for the hexagon. Let's just do it now with the hexagon. We probably can just do it now without going into the pack. So go like this, color one of your hexagons with whatever leftover ink you have, right? And you're just gonna color your hexagon. You saw me do this last week. I'm always gonna be coloring hexagons to make them go with our cards. And we're always gonna be using designer series paper hexagons too with whatever leftovers we have. But this paper we're gonna use sparingly, right? So we're gonna use the ink when we can to color. All right, let's do this. Let's get the magenta madness. Open that up and let's do some stamping. This little blob we're gonna take off here. And we're gonna do happy, or no, hello beautiful. That's a good one to put on, right? So put it flat, put it, tap your stamping block to it, tap, tap, tap. Test it out, right, a couple times, just ink it up, hello beautiful. And then go ahead and stamp it onto your blob. Okay, it came out good. A little bit of eraser mark, okay? And then we're this one you could do, right? But we could do something else. We could do the little thought balloon from here. So that's, it just depends. I've, I'm going through a couple packs of ephemera, so let's see what I still have in here. We'll take all the stuff out that we need. You get one sheet of each in your kit. So one sheet of this. I have two sheets. This is from two, two kits. One sheet of these. Again, this is two kits. And let's see. Okay, this is two kits. Just don't think you're getting all the same stuff I have. I have two kits open because I've been using so much of these. All right, we need one of our little thought balloons. Now what I like to do when I pop them out, this is just me, it's a personal preference. I like to get these little nibs off. Then they look like they were die cut with metal. See, that's what I like about metal dies. They don't leave these little nibs. That's what's so nice about them. I especially love Big's dies. Does anyone like Big's dies? They're like, Old school, but they are just brilliant. Teachers still use them. I know I still use them sometimes. All right, there's a little thought balloon. And what we want is we want the other sentiment that says, so happy to know you. Okay, so happy to know you. We're going to go tap that down. Okay. Just to get some ink on there. And then we're going to do it right onto here. It fits right on the thought balloon. Hold it for a few seconds, tap it off. Okay, and now, after you get that done, you could do, do a little bit of inking on it as well, around the edges if you want. I'm done with Magenta Madness. Done with these. I'm just looking and see if there's any more stamping. I think the rest is all just, oh, yes, I miss your face. That's, we have to do some, I miss your face, okay. We don't have to, but I just thought this tabs so let's get a tab so what happened is i couldn't fit it i couldn't really fit it on here right it was just it could fit actually it would fit on there it would fit on that side but then what happened i don't know why did i do it on the other side not really sure let's try to do it on this side this time oh you know what if i messed it up is what happened so just if you mess up this one if you ever see me use the other side of things, it's like you don't want to waste these little cute little tabs, right? So you don't want to waste them. So we'll try to stamp on that side. But then if not, we stamp on that side. But then notice here how I inked it up too with some crushed carry and some, some just jade. Okay, so we, well, let's first try this side. So we need a dark color. We can't use magenta madness on that. We want to use maybe just jade or night and navy. I probably used, I'm thinking I used Night and Navy because it was really dark. Okay, so I miss your face. And that's also going to be the theme of a box that we create to hold a mask. So I designed a box to hold a mask, and I'll show you that later. It's going to be part of this workshop series. I just love this sentiment considering we haven't seen people's faces in so long. I mean, literally, 
and figuratively because we haven't all been able to see everybody we wanted to see. There we go. I miss your face. That fits on that side. That's fine. All right, but if it didn't, if you mess up, just flip it over and use the other side. All right, let me just look again if I have any more stamping. Oh, I, yeah, color the diamond a little bit. Let's color a couple diamonds. That was all. With a little bit of just jade. Okay, I'm going to tap in there. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. And we'll just color a couple diamonds. And notice I've given them the little ombre effect. Okay, I'll just put one there. Tap, 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 tap. Da, da, da. A little bit of ombre effect. So that the white part is... You know, see how, see how it's like light to dark? All right, that's all the stamping. Now this part, we could do a little bit on the top of this one. A little bit of sponging. Tap, tap, tap. We don't know what we're going to put on top of there. See, I should have got the blob off. It's a little bit streaky. Okay. And we'll just color, just while I'm here, and I have a little bit of ink on here, we'll color one of these half hexagons. All right, I think I'm good. And then I can do a little bit around the edge of that one. You have your baby wipes handy. Because that one could use a little bit of this. When in doubt, use the crush carry or like whatever light color you have. And you can kind of use whatever's left on it. See? I'm just going to kind of do half of it, not the whole thought balloon. I'm just going to do half the thought balloon. Maybe we'll do... Yeah, I like it. We'll give that an ombre effect too. Alrighty, now it's ready. We're ready to assemble. And I can now open up the package. I can get rid of all this stuff. I just gotta make sure there's no there's no glue sitting here. And nothing wet. Nothing wet. Because that's why I was trying to wait to open these. I tend to like, you, you, know, you guys know, like those of you that watch me, I'm like this super messy crafter. And then I end up like getting glue stuck to everything and then I get my glue dots stuck on everything and then I, I accidentally drop stuff into my ink pads. Anyway, these are really cool. These aren't the same as your memories and more cards. These are all the same size, which I really love. And this pack, again, this is called Abstract beauty cards and envelopes. They're totally different. So you get 10 different ones. So those of you that are stamping up demonstrators, today we got rewards from Celebration. Some of us did, right? So I'm going to be using my rewards to get some of these because I really love these. Okay, this. so here's some envelopes patterns. Okay, I'm just going to show them to you. And you can see how like this will go with three or four different cards, right? This, this, this one pattern here would go with a bunch of cards. So I just sort of matched them up for you and everybody got two envelopes and two cards. Okay, the cards are solid. Five of them are solid with this ombre watercolor wash look. There's the Nighty Navy one. And then five of them are like this. Are those black envelopes for packages? What do you mean? Are they for packages? Okay, hold on. Are the black envelopes for, are those black envelopes for packages? Packages of what? Are they for packages? I, I'm not sure what you mean. Are they for packages? They're just em they're for sending cards. I don't know what you mean, but okay, keep clarify. Clarify. Okay, and anyway, these are these are like watercolor wash. So five of them have this like watercolor wash, which you'll be learning to make in this workshop series. Pretty nice. All right, so let's just do something different than the one I did earlier. But I still want to go with the dark card. So instead of using the black card that I made for my sample, I'm going to get the Knight of Navy card because I want to keep it dark. I want to keep it going. I'm going to go with that look. And then instead of doing, what did I do earlier here? Pink, instead of this magenta madness, let's take a different color. Instead of this one, I don't want to do another Knight of Navy because I just did that. And I don't want to do a solid or a black one. Let's find it here. We will do, and this one's too close to that color. Let's use this color, balmy blue. Okay, so that's our, that's the two cards we're making. That way we'll have some different samples, and you'll get to see it. Really doesn't matter. 
the black paper you just used to put the colored paper on, are they then cards? The black paper I put the color. These are cards. If you're talking about these, these are cards. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, these are cards. These are these are cards automatic. The black paper I put the anyway. I don't know what I put the black paper on. Huh. Okay. But these are cards. That's what we're making. Cards, right? You're going to fold them, and um, abstract beauty cards and envelopes. We're going to just fold them and you probably, it would be good to use your trimmer as a little guide, right? I like the ledge of your trimmer. In other words, in this, in this tutorial, we always make our own cards throughout this whole like workshop series, our own cards, our own boxes, but not today. You have cards already made for you, right? So you don't need to make your own cards. You already have cards made for you and envelopes. So right now we're decorating those. And inside your packet, you also have cards from the memories and more. Do you see it now? I'm folding them. Yeah. Don't worry. I don't leave you hanging, right? These are, I don't leave anybody hanging. And if you, and if you get annoyed by those little nibs hanging off your cards, then you just go like this, you know, you just go like that and chop them off with your scissors, your trimmer, your um, paper snips though, not the others, not the big scissors. All right. So. Alrighty, alrighty, let's see. We are just going to decorate and go to town here. Let's see, we're going to do the vertical card. I did that one vertical. Bottom layer, just use snail, right? So make sure it's opening to the right. See, I already did it upside down or backwards. Make sure your card opens to the right. Otherwise, you do it upside down and you, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered yet until I put the, the title on there. Okay, so the first layer is just down there. And then I'm going to use dimensionals for the next layer. Because I don't want to pop up the whole card, right? You get dimensionals in your pack too. You have one sheet of dimensionals. So I'm not going to pop up the whole thing. Because then my card would be too thick, you know, to put in that envelope. So, so happy to know you. Putting that like there. And now we need some more ephemera. Let's take some. Okay. It, the, the name of the game is always your contrasting colors. So I used a, a Misty Moonlight flower on that one. Just getting rid of the little nibs. This time I'm going to use a Magenta Madness flower. I had no plan before I got here. So don't get stressed out about designing. It's very easy when you have ephemera where everything already matches. So I'm putting the leaf down and the flower up. So put the leaf down, right? And then you're going to pop up the flower for dimension, right? Okay, let's go in the bucket of crafty goodness and see what we have. All kinds of fun stuff. Cut out with either pattern party or this kind of paper. So we don't want the pattern party ones. That's that's for later. We want some of this kind of paper though. Let's get some with some bling. Put a little hexagon down there. Okay. Let's see what we got. And get rid of some of these other kinds. I did some water coloring. Ooh, that one's cool. I'm liking that one better. That one's really cool. Actually, we'll save this one for for later. Let's use one of these. I'm just going to, I'm just going to color it a little bit though. And this one's super cute with the flowers, but that side's cute too. I like the flowers though. Cute little flowers. I'm going to put that there. All right. And then this one, I think I just need to color it a little bit. So it's not like white on white. So let's just see what's left on this brush. Oh no, that's not going to contrast. Let's see what's, on, let's see what's on this brush. Just jade. Put it on the rubber part sometimes. It's better. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then maybe something like that. Okay. And then a little star and a little flower. I'm going to switch. Pop these up.
and I like these little these little uh, but it didn't have to be that same we don't have to use that same flower but we could do an arrow yeah it'll give me a chance to redeem myself with the so my friend Kathy who gave me this glue dot box she's like why are you holding your glue dots in the air and I'm like I don't know why I'm holding my glue dots in the air she made me this cute little box she's like leave your glue dot box on the table and press your thing to it probably because I'm not used to having a glue dot box right and I'm used to just working with the roll but it's so much easier when you put your glue dots down and you press down onto them right so that's what we're gonna do and we're not gonna make a fiasco out of ourselves like we did with the ladybug video but I was like duh thank you so much for the tip okay and we're gonna put that down there so glue dots are good for vellum when you have vellum elements and then we need something over there with some bling so let's look at what we have left we have a leaf no we have these little flowers, they're kind of cute. Yep, the little baby flower's kind of cute. Let's see if that'll go. Nope, it's too much like the other flower. Okay, nope, let's see what we have here. Yes, I'll do one of the stars. Okay, so put that down. And when you have ephemera like this, it's just so easy to, it's so easy to make a card instantly. I'm going to take one of these little guys. I like these little flags. And here, I just put that. We could just put that somewhere. Or I'm thinking maybe a star or another star. The reason that black and white looked good is I had other black with it. But let's try a star. Yeah, I'm going to do that one instead. And I'm going to pop it up. So I'm going to put it next to the other star, but I'm popping it up. And voila, instant card. And we are, see, it looks totally different than this one, but it's the exact same design. We didn't do anything different. We just used a couple hexagons, a flower, a couple of the bling, and we're done instantly. Because we have cards already for us, like made for us. Okay, and then we can add, we're going to add some stickers to this one too, like some, some of the hexagons to this one. Okay, but let's now decorate this one. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a horizontal card now. So we're gonna lay that down. And we will start with we have this, we have I miss your face. This one I'm gonna glue. I'm gonna glue this one down. Because I don't because it's on the edge, I would normally not glue it down. I would use rolling adhesive, but it's on the edge of the card, and I don't want it to like lift be lifted off the edge of the card. So I'm gluing that part down. That's the only part I'm going to use glue for. The rest is rolling adhesive and dimensionals. Okay, we're going to put I miss your face down there. Okay, and then we got to look for the part that we did earlier. Ooh, we can maybe use some vellum. Let's see if we can use some of this vellum. You have vellum in your kit too. Lots of crafty goodness. Ooh, this one might look nice. And we'll use the one we just colored. All right, let's look for the, here it is. We're going to put this down. So I'm going to put this over here with this design, and I think I'm going to put some vellum down there. I think I'm going to do something like that, like a little vellum behind that hexagon. But first, let's do this one. Flat. And a diamond. I know I colored some diamonds, but... Huh. Where, where'd you go? I cut out a lot of vellum when I was there. Oh, this one's cool. I'm going to use this one instead. I'm liking that one. But I don't want to even touch it to that part. I'm going to put it up there in the corner by itself. Here are the ones I colored, the ombre ones. Those are cool too. Okay, this one is good to pop up. So you might want to get mini dimensionals or cut your big dimensionals to a smaller size. Put a little bling. I just love bling. Okay, so this one I want to, I'm going to hide, right? We're going to hide the adhesive for this. So just put a little bit of adhesive down there and put your hexagon down. We'll go like at an angle, right? And we're going to hide it. See how you can see right through the vellum? But that's okay because there's another hexagon on top of it, right? Kind of going like that. So it hides the vellum adhesive. That's a little trick. So you're putting your dimension, you're putting your other one over where the adhesive is. Hiding your adhesive. Alrighty. Here they are. 
um, kind of at an angle. Ooh, I like it, I like it. And we're gonna put this little guy somewhere and we'll put, we need some more bling. Bling, bling. Here, we, we can do one of these. I'm gonna put this one, actually this one's too much of the same color, so we won't use him, we'll use one of the ones I die cut. But now you know how to use it, right? You know how to use the ones we colored, but let's use something else because I'm liking some more bling on there. Here, lighter color, contrast. There we go, that's perfect. And another one of these little diamonds, maybe like that. I'm gonna put a little half hexagon over there. This one, since it's on the edge, again, whenever it's on the edge, I'm using glue. Otherwise, I won't use glue. I just use dimensionals if it's anywhere else on the card. Okay, let's get a little heart, see if we have a heart. Yep, there's still another heart. So we're going to take a heart and put that down there where it says, I miss your face. This is what I was talking about. You got to cut your dimensional smaller. Oh my, I almost, I almost just cut my microphone wire. That was very close, guys. Very close. That would not have been good. Okay, put, I'm putting a little heart down on this one. Okay, and... I'm going to put a full dimensional on this guy. And let's see, I'm going to put him right there. So him right there. This is a half dimensional, or one that was cut. I'm going to trim it a little more. And then I'm going to grab out the hexagon shapes. Oh, how fun. It needs a little bit more bling. We need, uh, we'll get a little, one of these little tiny stars. Oh, I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the flower. So the little star can go over there. We need a flower. Flower power. We'll do a small flower this time. Because there's, there's just not a lot of room for a big flower. So we're going to put a small flower over there. And the reason I want to keep it there is there's a little blob of ink right there. But normally I would, I mean, at this point I'd probably put it over there. But I think since there's a little blob of ink right there, let's put the flower there. But I want the little leaves to kind of tilt down. All right. There we go, and then we get. Then we have the little hexagons. These are called adhesive back hex, adhesive backed hexagons. Now, I, in this card, I put them in the middle of the hexagons, the ones like the colored, right? But in this time, I'm just going to put them around the card. Okay, let's see. I'll put one up here. Let's see. Actually, I can put one on this. I can put one on this little diamond. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. This one's black, so I don't want to put this black one on the Knight of Navy. And then I should have some just jade ones, but I might have to grab a whole new pack. Dropped my microphone. Sorry about that. All right, I ran out of the Just Jade adhesive back hexagons. So I need to open a new pack. So we can put, because I'm trying it for every card, and you'll have these in your kit, you'll have, you will be getting one, two, three, four, five, six, times three, you'll get 18 of these, right? So when you get your 18, you're gonna do like three on a card, and you can, you can var vary the sizes. Well, you don't have to do three, it can be five, or whatever, some kind of odd number. And since I used a small one and a sort of a medium, I'm going to use a large one. And where should I put it? Up there, maybe? Yeah. Cause, okay, because that way I have one, two, three. Oops, wrong size. That's okay. It doesn't matter if it's, it's not really wrong size. Okay, two of them are the same size. Okay, and that's this card. So that's done. And now I'm ready to show you some more things. I like the use of vellum on there. You can use your shiny papers too. I gave you foil, gold foil. You're gonna use your gold foil for you know cutting out, 
these different shapes. Okay, that's how you would cut out the gold foil. The gold foil accents would be nice on inside there. You can kind of do that to your hexagon. So do whatever you want, but I'm saying you have all kinds of specialty papers. And although we'll be using specialty papers specifically for certain projects, kind of up to you to just make your extra embellishments. Make yourself a bucket of crafty goodness. So I am ready to show you other projects, but I would definitely want to say hi. So waiting for paper pumpkin, Gloria. I didn't get mine either, but I always get everything later. Okay, yeah, so the cards remind me of some paper pumpkin cards we got. Yeah, there, there were paper pumpkin cards like this, and I forget what they were, but you're right. There was like a watercolor paper pumpkin. So... We got that. I think we got all the questions answered. And hello, hello. I'm not going to get to say, be, be able to say hello to everybody, right? But I'm just kind of seeing. Yeah, got the email about, yeah. Details. Shipping is, Cheryl's addressing shipping. Okay, so yeah, the, the shipping is going to be 11% instead of 10%. It's going up by 1%. And you know, we're all getting hit by as we know, increases on things around the world, and it's kind of like now hitting Stampin' Up! too with the shipping. But there will still be free shipping promotions. Take advantage of that. There's still free shipping on the starter kit. And the shipping, you still got the rest of the month before shipping goes up. All right, well, I see a lot of you guys on here, and I, I'm not going to say hi to every single person this time. And maybe I will at the end, but I just right now I want to get into showing you this uh, projects because I have a lot of projects to show you. All right, first off, and I'm, and these aren't going to be like the order. Well, I will go back to the ones we made last week. How about that? Or a few days ago. I'm going to go back to part one, and then after that, I'm going to show you these other projects, but not in any certain order. In part one of this workshop series, we did an introduction, and I showed you in the introduction how to take designer series paper and create these cards. So if you missed it, we created these cards using three panels of designer series paper. I went through the measurements, I wrote the measurements out on the mat, and I'll put the measurements in the description of the video as well. These are, hello, beautiful, and then it says thank you. But you could put whatever you want down here. You don't have to put a thank you card. You could just, just do a hello, beautiful card. In the background of these cards is the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. So I want to digress for a second before I show you the rest of these projects on something that we just did on my YouTube channel. And it was this card here. It's called the bugs and the bees because we're using the ladybug builder punch and we're using the, um, the bee. We made bees. So if you missed that tutorial, this is going to somebody who bought the bundle. I don't know if I have any left with wobble springs on them. I made one since then. If you missed that tutorial, I show you how to make the bugs and the bees. But the reason I'm showing you this right now is because not only because these, these colors are retiring soon, and I wanted to let you know about that. Misty Moonlight, Magenta Madness, Just Jade, Bumblebee, and Cinnamon Cider. Five colors are retiring soon. And here's something else I did with them, by the way, that wasn't on my channel. But these, these are just something highlighting the five colors retiring. All five colors are in here. This is the, all the ink colors. Well, not only are the um, colors retiring, but the colors, some of the colors that are retiring are being used in this in this here. So like we have magenta madness in here and just jade, right? We have other things in here that are retiring colors. So like if you stock up on this, the reason I'm, I mentioned it is, okay, for instance, you stock up, you're like, I'm getting the ephemera. I'm getting the abstract beauty cards and envelopes. I'm getting this, I'm getting that. Well, you know what? The paper that goes with it is going to retire as well. So stock up on just jade, magenta madness, cinnamon cider, bumblebee. Okay. Do you, do you understand? So like when you, when you get the things, just to have stuff to go with it. So anyway, that was Pattern Party. So we created these. I talked about how to make these. Now, since then, I created more using that same exact design, except for a little bit of different measurements. This is the same card as these. We're not making this in the series. We already made it. So we're not making this card again, because I already showed you how to make this card by making these cards. You're applying what you learn. You flip over your paper and use the bling side instead of the plain side. You use a different sentiment in the middle or a different shape beautiful shapes die. You ink it up like I just showed you. More ephemera, and this is the exact same pattern with the same measurements as this card here. Okay, I had other scraps that weren't quite as big in the middle. So watch how this little section changes, but again, this is the exact same card. This one, except this section's gonna change a little bit because 
when I made this card with the scraps, I didn't have as big enough piece of this one. So you get a little bit wider margin here. So these four cards are exactly the same design, except this little piece might be a little bit narrower, okay? So you can just do so much with the same design. There's a hexagon behind here and a smaller shape, but it's the ephemera and it's the cards and it's, this one's a pumpkin pie, this one's a basic black, and these are all basic black, okay? So that's, that was project, that was week number one. We're gonna be making this one. This is an extra designer series paper layered card in a horizontal format. Okay, so this is another card we'll make in this series. Here's a card that I made that was not, that we're not making in the series, but I'm using this products from this suite and a retired product called the Forever Gold Foil Specialty Paper or something like that. It had a cool hexagon in it. So if you have that laying around and this really cool embossing folder called the Gingham Embossing Folder, you can make this card. Okay, and that's Balmy Blow. Okay, let's see what else I have for you in my bucket of crafty goodness. See what I made here. Okay, we're making this card in the series using the ephemera. And when we make this card, we'll be making some other things as well. Like we'll be, we'll be doing some extra stamping, stamping techniques in different colors. Okay, so this is another multi-layered card with a little frame around it. Okay, we're going to be doing this water coloring. Okay, I'll show you this one in a moment when I show you the other water coloring projects. Okay, this is, we're going to be doing a shaker card. Okay, we'll shake your card. And that has just jade, this the just jade background. And you're using the hexagons to make your shaker. And in your kit, you have some window sheets. You have, a, well, you have one window sheet and we're making the shaker card. Okay, and you have this piece of, in your kit, that's called Natural Touch Designer Series Paper. Two more days to sign up for the kit, guys. I'm not going to keep on running to the post office, so I, I definitely have to shut that down, and then I'm going to be opening up uh, the Waves of Inspiration. I'll be opening up that one soon. That's going to be my next one after this one's over. After this workshop series is over, we're going to delve deep into the Waves of Inspiration bundle. All right, watercolors. We're going to be doing these, these projects together, maybe not all together, but this one we'll probably be doing together because this is a note card box. This card goes with this box. This is in your kit. You get a mini paper pumpkin box. And we're watercoloring the top of it, doing a watercolor wash with four colors and the watercolor pencils. And so in here, you can put your little card from the memories and more card pack. And if you want to make a whole set of note cards, we'll give you the measurements to make a set of note cards. Okay, so we'll be doing some stamping and making your own little cards like this to go in the box. And now this is watercoloring as well. But this takes it one step further. This is this was a watercoloring with the watercolor pencils. This is watercoloring as well onto our shimmery paper and our watercolor paper that's in your kit. You get samples of watercolor paper. And we're doing embossing afterwards. So here's some that I probably didn't emboss yet so I could show you. See, like here's one I watercolored, but I haven't embossed it yet. When you watercolor, even when you use watercolor paper, it tends to, to kind of warp a little bit, see? And the way I solve that is just by embossing my shapes and then they become super flat, especially if I adhere them and then emboss them onto these pieces. So this is a piece of the abstract beauty paper. This is balmy blue. And now save your balmy blue because you're gonna take a piece for the balmy blue here and you're gonna use another piece of your balmy blue for when we do our bookmark project. See, that's the same color cardstock. So that's why I give you an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. You can do so much with it. So we'll be making a watercolor card. We'll be making a bookmark. We'll be making this box of note cards. Okay, what else do we have here? And we'll be making this, this is the mask box. This is a box that you're gonna be making to hold a mask. And I thought, why a mask box? And why did I come up with these dimensions? It's because I thought, you know what? This, this sentiment here, I miss your face, is just so relevant for this time. And I know we designed things way in advance, but who knew it was gonna be like this great sentiment? So we'll be putting a mask in here. I don't have it yet. I have it, but I don't have it yet yet. And putting the little window inside and we'll be making this box. And with the similar skills as you learned for this project here, the Shaker Card Project. So you can just let me know in the comments what you wanna do next. Do you wanna do the Shaker, out of these ones. We're not gonna do it, when, we're gonna do the plain card. We're gonna do either Shaker Card, the mask box, or the, the watercoloring. Or you could either say watercoloring or you could say 
note card if it's easier to type it note card note card box so this is it this project's together it's like a box of note cards watercoloring shaker card or mass box and that's what we'll do next and then then we'll get into the other cards like this and we always do the bookmark last and i i know that this will be done this series will be done in um next month and then we'll be able to start on our next workshop series Okay, let's see what you got. I don't see any votes yet. Well, thank you for coming, Gloria, Yvonne. I got a spammer that showed up, Barbara, Cheryl, Denise, Donna, Melissa. Oops. It's hard to read comments without my whole camera shaking, as you could say. Oh, good. I'm glad you got to catch me. You're off work, Pamela. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't. I, I announced inside my VIP group. So when you sign up for any of my workshops, you get invited to my VIP group or if you're on my team. And then I do announce in there that I'm going live. Other than that, I don't announce it because it's more of like when I'm all set up and that's when I go live. Okay, sh okay. Mess box, shake your card. Okay, so it's. Mass box shaker. Okay, mass box. Okay, so we'll do those two next two order. Let me see what was first vote. We're going to do the mass box next because that was the voted first. Followed by then the tutorial. Then So this will be part three, mass box. Part four will be shaker card. Cool. And then we'll go back to doing other cards. So I hope you liked using the Abstract Beauty Cards and More package. I hope you'll give these cards a try. Super easy. Mass produce, do all your die cutting, do all your stamping, okay? Do all your sponging and all that, and then just assemble. And do the assemble, like, you know, hey, sit down, watch Netflix or something, right? Do all your assembly at once. You can do that later. But get all your stamping done while you're at your table where you need your flat surface. Then you can sit around, watch the TV, and adhere all these little pieces, and you can have super fun cards to send people. Okay? They're, they're professional looking because you have all these elements that coordinate you still have your creativity showing you have your creativity through all your sponging and all your embellishing and someone's going to think you made the background yourself with the watercolor wash technique that you learn as well well that's all for now this is the paper chef thank you for joining me today and if you're new to my channel please check out my other videos and projects on stampin up products and scan and cut and paper pumpkin kits that's all for now this is the paper chef